Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. We're in the fish room. I thought I'd give you a bit of an update on some new additions to the fish room, some new problems with the fish room, and of course Mega Tank and the update on Mega Tank and fixing it. So if you saw the last video, you might remember we had a bit of a leak, which caused me a little bit of stress. I'm going to approach this in a few different ways. So the way the leak manifested itself is I saw a little bit of water coming out here and it was dripping out kind of the centre of the tank. I did as best as I could to trace that. I did a couple of extra fills. I used some of that dye where you can see where things are going and I traced it to roughly here. It was getting in between the glass and the wood. So the good thing about that was that it wasn't anything structural. It wasn't the liquid rubber. It was just a poor seal in this corner. And this corner is particularly tricky to get at. So it was probably my fault when I initially attached the glass to the tank. Just didn't do a good enough job or a thick enough job of sealing uh, this side of the tank, glass to the tank. So I'm hoping touching everything wooden, crossing everything, that I can get away with a bit of a patch job. So I've got three stages that I'm going to try this. I'm going to try it with a bit of a patch. So get in there, get some extra silicon. That's what I've done so far. Put some silicon on the inside, fill out the gap where I think the gap is, put extra silicon on the seal between the glass and the tank, and put extra silicon here on the outside between the glass and the tank, just to create a better barrier uh, it's a bit tidier as well, so I, that, that's my first attempt. If that doesn't work, I'll have to take the glass out, so strip it back and do another reseal, um, a proper application of silicon. If you watch the other tanks, I think I went through something like seven or eight tubes of silicon to attach the, the glass and then seal it back in again. So I just need to do it again with a bit more care and try that. If that doesn't work, then... Don't know, we're on to pond liner <laughs> situation at that point where we just rip everything out, put in pond liner and attach it again with some big bolts or something, I don't know. We're just going to try it again. I don't think it's the liquid rubber that's the problem this time. So that's what a lot of the people who have been commenting on the videos going, ah, I don't use liquid rubber, it's trash, it's rubbish. It might, that might turn out to be true, but that's not what the problem is so far. So I'm going to give it at least a chance to work because I think it is just the seal between the glass and the tank that's the problem. Um, so, we're in the middle of a refill, I've just turned it off so you can hear me speaking. We're in the middle of a refill, so hopefully by the end of this video we'll be able to tell whether or not it's immediately leaking. Um, and we'll take it from there. But I thought I'd use this video to show you some updates we've made around the fish room. And some new fish that we've got, so stick around if you want to see about that. Some new fish that will hopefully end up going here if I can make it hold water. So before I show you my new fish and the new inhabitants from Mega Tank, got a bit of a new problem, a problem I've never had before when I've had a fish room. I've been infested by wasps. There's a wasp nest somewhere. I think I've found the wasp nest and started to kill them off. But starting to kill them off seems to have pushed them into the fish room. So the wasp nest, I could see them going in through an air brick in the house, which is actually behind this garage wall, so behind this wall here. There's a bit of a void, uh, but there's also a bit of a, another void under the house that I can't access. And I think that's where the wasps are. Uh, making their nest, but they started to come in here. So I come into the fish room last night. There must have been about 20 wasps flying around in here. And then I picked about 10, 15 wasps out of each tank as well. Um, and there's more this morning. So interestingly, the whole yellow and black stripey bastard thing, <laughs> the fish are not eating the wasps. Usually when a spider falls in or a fly or something, the fish are like, yum, 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 yum. They, they gobble it up. But the wasps are a bit like, mm. even Humphrey, so Humphrey down here had a, a, a wasp in his tank and he'll try and eat me if I put my hand in the tank. But a couple of wasps floating on the top, he was cowering away in his little hide. So if you've got any good solutions for getting rid of wasps, let me know in the comments. We'll start off the new fish tour with these two tanks. So this is the fish that I'm basing mega tanks stocking around, but this was actually the first fish that I bought. So this, is a green terror or gold som, som, depending who you ask. And I just could not not buy him. So you might have saw him in the last video. I got him a couple of weeks back. Fantastic, feisty little fish. It's not going to stay little forever, but I just thought he was an absolute beauty. I think it's a he. And picked him up with the 
intention to put them into Mega Tank. But then these guys were the real stars of the show. So these are wild type Colombian Oscars. No idea if they're actually wild caught or not. I did ask and was told, yeah, wild type. And I went, does that mean they're caught wild? Yeah, wild type. And so that was decisive as ever. I suspect not. So I got two originally, went back and picked up a third. So these are going to be the stars of Mega Tank. And when I went back to pick up that third, I picked up a few more fish. Um, but look at the markings on these ones. The two of them, they've started to come out of the shell a little bit more. They spent a lot of time hiding when I first picked them up, but they're starting to come up and beg for food and are ravenous eaters, as all Oscar keepers will recognise. And they're doing really well, getting along well, no fighting yet. Obviously still very small, but they're fast growers. I saw adults in the shop of this same type uh, that were kind of like six months old and maybe five times the size. So I'm hoping they will grow quickly. My general plan for all fish is if I get them too small, then I'll use these tanks here or other tanks that I've got to grow them out a little bit before I add them to the main tank. But what prompted me to start buying new fish in general was uh, it was Father's Day one Sunday, last Sunday. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, you might know this already, but I got gifted a, a fishy gift certificate, which allowed me to buy one little fish, one medium fish and one big fish. So I kind of pushed the limits of that a little bit and ended up buying six little fish two or three medium fish and one big fish. So these are the fish that I ended up buying. The star of the show lives in this tank. So this is the tank that the discus were in. Um, I've dropped the water level a little bit and got the lids on. And he's being shy at the moment, but we've got a Giardini Arowana. Let's see if I can bring him out. You might have heard me talk about this on the live stream last week where I saw him in the shop. I was really conflicted about buying him there and then. And so basically thought about it went back and snapped them up, much to the displeasure of the people in the shops. I think one of the guys that works there wanted to keep them himself. Um, but you know, I gave him a week before I came and grabbed him. So my kids heard that this is sometimes called a pearl arowana and have dubbed it Pearl. So let's hope it's a girl. Don't want to misgender a fish. But look at that, pretty awesome. I think that'll do really good in the big tank. And um, feeding on pellets already, obviously that's just some bloodworm that's in there at the moment. But really like the, the shape, the colors, the scales, oh, everything about this fish just looked great in the shop. So I couldn't help myself. I had to go back and get it. Um, yeah, just couldn't be happier. Giardinis, from everything that I've read to you about, or well, talked to people about, they are pretty mental. <laughs> um, so there might need to be some management done of the tank to make sure that everyone is happy and stays well and healthy. But as it's quite young, I'm hoping that I can get this added in before it gets to full size and all the other fish will be similar or bigger and we can hopefully avoid too many aggression issues but absolutely love this so far so putting pearl in this tank um, obviously means i had to move the discus so the discus have all moved up here and are a bit grumpy because obviously these aren't the biggest of tanks in the world um, but the good news is that plans are afoot to get the big display tank working here so they should only be in here for a few more weeks and then we can get them back up i can get the the big display tank fixed up the new floor laid uh, and get these guys back into a, a proper decent sized tank but still look at the posers looking good if i do say so myself old humphrey he's not a new fish he's just a cool fish happy slash grumpy as ever but one of the other so the giardini was the big fish the oscar was the medium fish We've also got this guy as another medium fish. So again, you might have heard me moaning about the price of Arandas. So because it was Father's Day, I took the kids to the fish shop as well and the daughter picked out this. This is Professor Bubblehead. This is a Bubblehead Aranda, which was even more expensive than the normal Arandas that I was moaning about. But Professor Bubblehead is pretty cool. So 
he, she, she, we think it's a she because my daughter has told me it's a she, <laughs> not because of any biological reasons. She is going to live in this tank for a couple of months while we look for a suitable larger tank to go in her bedroom so it can live next to the betta fish she's got, Snowflake. But pretty cool. I am, I do like fancy goldfish, so I'm quite glad to have one. And then the little guys, which will be almost impossible to focus on, no doubt, are these Ivansoff blue-eyed rainbows. Not a fish I'd ever had any experience with or know anything about, really, but these were the little fish. They're kind of like lamp eyes and that their eyes light up really bright. And the kids just thought these were great and I couldn't argue with them, so we picked up a bunch of these and put them in this tank up here. Now they're all hiding. But yeah, don't know much about them, just know that they look good under lights. They also do not like wasps, um, but fantastic little fish, really quite active, but obviously it's the eyes, when the light catches them in the eyes. I don't have great lights on this tank, so it doesn't show up quite as well, but when it does catch them, it is almost like fish with their own little headlights. So I'm really happy with these guys too. I've also got these. I don't know what they are. They appeared in a tank that I didn't think I've ever kept fish in. Um, and I've just had some plants in. And I've been growing them for the last couple of weeks. Or I noticed them a couple of weeks ago and I've been trying to grow them up to see what they are. And now I can't focus on them so you won't be able to help. Um, but yeah, there's like a dozen of them. Some of them are still tiny, so there's obviously new ones that have just been born in the last few days. So I'm thinking it must be from some kind of egg layer. I don't know what they are. Um, this one that I'm focused on here must be about 10, 14 days old, or I've noticed it for about 10, 14 days, but there's ones that are a quarter of its size. So, an interesting little project to figure out what the hell it is. They did have some stingrays in the shop as well, so these were all from Maidenhead Aquatics in Sheffield. Um, paid full price, no affiliation, anything like that. Um, but the stingrays, I think they were like 275 quid each, and I don't think my bank balance could quite stand that. So I think I've done quite well getting the arowana, the goldfish, the extra Oscar, and the rainbow fish. So really happy with them. We've got the first few inhabitants for Mega Tank. Hopefully that will work. Well, Mega Tank filling's going well. We're way past the bit where it was leaking last time. So basically those two screws, when it got to there on my test fills, that's when it was starting to leak. So we're way over that. Obviously this isn't definitive. I need to let it run for a few days before I can call anything. So, you know, fingers crossed filling that up so if you want to know how that goes come and join me on the friday night live stream because it should be done by then and um, you should know whether or not we've got any leaks nothing so far still going still happy it's just that nail biting bit where we figure out whether it is going to actually hold water or not and um, so join me on friday night nine o'clock uk time and um, we're doing a new thing where it's monthly giveaways now so this is the monthly one if you join us this week and ask me all about my fish room, my fish, my leaky tanks, everything else is going on. But if you've made it this far, thank you very much for joining me. Um, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.